Hello friends, welcome to G-Centric. So in this, we will solve the first problem on superposition theorem. So we have to find the V. So where is V given? Here, right? We have to find V using superposition because this, this problem can also be solved by nodal. We will see in both the methods. Okay, so since we have learned superposition, first we will solve by superposition theorem. Now first I will keep 6 volt as active Okay, when I keep 6 volt as active, this circuit will become, okay, so this will be open circuit 3 amperes, right, so I will keep that open, okay, so this is 4 ohms, here it is 8 ohms, 6 volts, okay, so we have to find V1, I will consider this as V1, okay, so now if I have to find the voltage across this 4 ohm, I can apply voltage division rule. Okay, so across V1, it is nothing but 4 of the same resistor element we have to take in the numerator for which we have to calculate the voltage. So 4 plus 8 plus 4 is 12 into 6. Okay, so this will become 2 volts. Okay, so V1, we got V1. Now, this I will short circuit when we have got, okay, so when 6 volt was active, we have got 2 volts. Next, we will take 3 amperes active. Then what will happen to 6 volt? It will short, okay. So this is here, it is 4 ohms plus minus. Here I will take it as V2, 8 ohms. Then we have got 3 amperes, okay. So now to find the if I know the current in this I4 which is V2 by 4 then I can immediately calculate the value of V2 right. So V2 will be nothing but I4 into 4. So to calculate this one okay so I can apply current division rule right. If I have to calculate I4 then I have to take the value of opposite resistor okay then this is 4 this is 2. Okay, so this is 2 amperes. I will substitute in this one. I will get 2 into 4 that is 8 volts. So now I can calculate the V net. Okay, so there are no more independent sources. So it will be V1 plus V2 which is 2 plus 8 comes out to be 10 volts. Okay, so we will see the same answer if it comes by voltage analysis or oh sorry nodal analysis. Okay, so now this is the node, since only one element is here, I can take this as node voltage, okay, and this as reference, okay, so this is V minus 6 by 8 plus V by 4 equal to 3, right, so now the LCM is 8, V minus 6 plus 2V equal to I will take this over here, it will become 24, then 3V minus, this is 18, okay, V is equal to, so is it 8, this is 3 amperes, okay, so 3V, sorry, it becomes plus 6, so this is 30, okay, minus 6, if it goes there, it will become 30, this is 30 by 3, so V is equal to 10 volts. Okay, so we have got both the same answers 10 and 10, right? So it can also be solved by solved by nodal and superposition. So next coming to this second problem, it says we have to find the Vx. So this can also be solved using nodal analysis, but we will solve first with superposition theorem. So now we have got dependent also, we have got Vx here. So Vx Q is given in this circuit over here. So first we will make this as inactive okay so when that is made inactive so we'll keep 10 volt as active source okay plus minus okay so this is becomes open circuit okay so here is one 4 volt 4 amp sorry 4 ohms then we have got current 0.1 vx okay so this value is 20 ohm and this is 10 volts so this is Vx1, right? So now I can apply nodal analysis. So this is same volt, same node, right? I'll take it as Vx1 
minus 10 divided by 20 plus vx1 by 4 equal to 0.1 vx. Okay, so when you solve this one, you will get it as 2.5 volts. Okay, so we have got vx1 as 2.5 volts. Now we will calculate the for keeping 2 ampere as active source. Okay, so for keeping that 2 ampere active source, we have to short this voltage. So I will do it directly here. So I will get a short circuit. So now since this has got same potential, I can interchange both of them. Okay, so I will take 4 ohm here and 2 ampere current source there. 4 ampere and 2 ampere current source. Okay, so this, this will make no effect on the circuit. Okay, so now this I4 is nothing but or Vx2, we will take it as Vx2. Okay, so this Vx2 to calculate it is nothing but current into resistor value. So, current into resistor value that is 4 ohms. Okay, so if I get the current through this one, easily I can calculate the Vx2. So, for that here is current source, you have got current division rule. So, you can directly apply 20 divided by, so I4 will be 24 times. Now, this is 0.1 Vx, this is 2 ampere. So, what is the total current in this one? It is nothing but 2 plus 0.1 Vx. Okay, so that only I will substitute here. 2 ampere plus 0.1 Vx. Okay, so Vx2, this is 2 Vx2. So, this Vx2 comes out to be 10 volts. Okay, so this Vx2 I will substitute in this one. Sorry, this is not 10 volts. This will comes out to be I am sorry, sorry. So, this, this two unknowns are there. So, we cannot directly solve it. Okay. So, I will substitute this I4 value in this one. So, Vx2 is equal to 20 by 24, which comes out to be 5 by 6. Okay. So, this 5 by 6 into 2 plus 0.1 Vx2 into 4. Right. So, when you calculate this one, Vx2 comes out to be 10 volts. Okay. So, this is the Vx2 and how much we have got Vx1 is 2.5. So, total Vx net will be equal to Vx1 plus Vx2. So, that is 2.5 plus 10 which comes out to be 12.5 volts. Okay. So, in this case it was nothing but we have to short both the circuits. One will be open and one will be short. Okay. So, then you can solve using nodal analysis. So, directly also you can solve with this by nodal analysis taking this as ground. Okay. So, Vx minus 10 divided by 20 Vx by 0 uh, Vx minus 0 divided by 4. Okay. Incoming both the currents you can take it and you would have got it in one shot. Okay. So, this next we will see few more problems based on this. Okay. So, we will come to this problem. We have given this circuit and we have to find I. Okay, so this is 2 ohm and this is I. So, what we have to find? We have to find the I value. So, now we will take first 1 volt, 1 volt as active. So, when 1 volt is active, this will become open circuit and this will be short. So, how will the circuit be? Plus minus, this is 1 ohm, then this is short. Okay, so this one is here. Right. So, this 1 volt is active and we have 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 2 ohms, 1 ohm and 1 ohm. So, we have to calculate this I1. Right. So, now if you see a zigzag pattern is there, okay, see the opposite terms, multiply them. 1 into 1 is 1. So, 1 will be equal to 1. So, what will happen? The current here will be open circuited. So, the I1 what it will be equal to 0. Okay. So, now coming to second one, keeping 2 ampere source active. Okay, so, we will keep 2 ampere source active, but again here it will be short circuited. This will short circuit. 
okay so here also it is short circuit and again we have the same circuit diagram except that we have here current source okay again what you will get i2 will be equal to 0 amperes okay so this i1 is 0 i2 is 0 now we have to calculate i3 keeping this voltage source active so when that is active what will happen how will be the circuit diagram this will be short circuited okay so there it is 1 ohm as it is then you have got plus voltage source of minus plus 2 volts you have 2 ohms okay so this will be this current source is also open right so you have got here 1 ohm here also 1 ohm so this is 2 ohms this is 1 ohm and this is 1 ohm so i will i will name this points nodes as a b c so since this is only one node I'll take this as whole thing as C and here also I'll take it as D. Okay. So this is nothing but one only. Right. So now I'll mark these points here. Okay. So I'll take this. This as A. This as B. Okay. So now I'll connect here between A and B. Okay. Between A and B I have voltage source of 2 volts and a current uh, resistor of okay, so this is in this way I will take this okay 2 ohm resistor then in between A and C so this is point C and this is point D okay, one resistor is there then between C and B we have got one more resistor okay and we have got between C and D that is we have got one more resistor then from here to here A to D one room and we have got D to B one room. Okay, so this, everything is one room. Again if you see it becomes a wheatstone bridge okay, where it satisfies one room is equal to one room. Okay, the multiplication of the arms are same. So in this case it is zero ampere current flowing that becomes open circuit. So now this is in series and these both are in series. Okay, so it will be 2 ohm. Here also it will be 2 ohm. So this 2 ohm and this 2 ohm is in parallel. So when you calculate if it is in parallel 2 into 2 is 4, 4 by 4 again it will become 1 ohm. Okay, so I3 will be nothing but total voltage upon equivalent resistance. So 2 over 3. So what will be I net? I net is nothing but I1 plus I2 plus I3. So 0 plus 0 plus 2 by 3. So the total current will be in the circuit due to superposition theorem. We can get it as 2 by 3 amperes. So the complex network is can be reduced use, easily using the superposition theorem. So in the next lecture we will see few more problems based on this. Okay. Thank you.